It is perhaps the greatest show from Earth, a total solar eclipse when the moon's shadow turns day into night. This one will stretch from coast to coast across North America. Here's the path of totality. A little over 100 miles wide and more than 30 million people living within it will see the moon completely block out the sun. Even further away, there's a chance of seeing a partial eclipse, as long as there's no clouds, of course. In Miami, about half of the sun will be covered by the moon's silhouette. It starts out in the Pacific, reaching the coast of Mexico at 11.07 a.m. local time. That's just after 7 p.m. in the UK. Darkness will last up to 4 minutes 28 seconds. Then the moon's shadow, or umbra, races northeast at more than 1,500 miles an hour into Texas, through the Midwest, up to Ohio, New York, Vermont and Maine, 15 states in all, then into Canada and out over the Atlantic around 100 minutes later. By cosmic coincidence, the moon is 400 times smaller than the sun, but right now it's also 400 times closer to the Earth. So the two appear to us to be the same size. When the moon passes between the sun and the Earth, it blocks out the light, casting a shadow on the planet's surface. Those within the path are in for a treat. First, the temperature plummets. Then, seconds before totality, there's a flash and Bailey's beads appear, a few bright spots of sunlight shining through valleys on the edge of the moon. Sometimes the eclipse looks like a diamond ring. And then totality, when the moon and sun perfectly align. In the dim twilight, the brilliant white corona, the sun's outer atmosphere, becomes visible, streaming out into the dark sky. And minutes later, the sun re-emerges and daylight returns. It's special and it's rare. These are the total eclipse paths over the last 5,000 years, roughly one every 18 months. But from any one spot, they're visible on average just once in every 300 and 75 years. The next one is on the 12th of August 2026, with a shadow passing over Greenland, Iceland, Portugal and Spain. But there won't be a total eclipse in the UK until 2090.